This is Alin from Javelin trying to find a solution to a problem that SOLIDWORKS 2014 cannot solve at this time, which is getting the projected outline of a solid body on a face or on a plane. Please be aware that an enhancement request has already been logged with SOLIDWORKS, so if you would like this functionality implemented, please vote on SPR number 627869. I would also like to offer thanks to Dwight Livingstone, who was the first one suggesting this approach on the SOLIDWORKS forums. We will use the parting lines feature that can be found under the mole tools. Defining the normal to plane one as the direction would enable SOLIDWORKS to figure out all the edges that would lie on the outside as seen from uh, a direction normal to the plane. Now, if there is any face that is visible from both the bottom direction or from the top, you'd like that face to be split and get an edge on the parting line. And this is why I'm going to use the split faces option, asking any face that would straddle the parting line to be sp uh, split on the plus minus draft transition. So the moment I select draft analysis, SOLIDWORKS is doing the analysis and as you can see an edge is being created. That's my parting line. Now it's just a matter of creating a sketch on this plane and trying to convert entities using convert entities to get the projection of the parting line. Unfortunately this doesn't work very well right now and is a pity because it's so easy to select the parting line directly from the feature tree but the converting to the entities accepts only edges in this case. So you actually have to select the either the face or the edges that are part of the parking parting line. This is a very simple example, but what's happening if you have multiple edges in the parting line? So allow me to show you a much more complex situation. This is the plane that I would like to get the outline of this solid body projected on. So to get something like this. I'm going to use again the parting line. Zero degrees draft, split faces at plus minus draft transition, run the draft analysis. And as you can see, there are a number of new edges that have been created by, by SOLIDWORKS. And uh, if I turn this off, you can see right away the difference between the original faces and the new faces that are being split. I'm going to manually select these new edges. And um, the quickest way to do that is by using the Y and N keys on your keyboard. So yes and no. Do I want to go in this direction? No. I'm going to press N. Do I want to go in this direction? Yes, I'm going to press Y. I'm going to do that. Continue to do that. Yes, 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 yes. As you can see, I completely closed the loop. And I'm going to accept this as being the parting line. And remember that if I'm creating a new sketch here, I'm going to have to do a lot of work by manually selecting all those edges that have been created by the parting line. So the workaround is to actually use the parting surface command that would allow you to add a surface starting from the parting line. Now I can even hide the parting line. I can even for a moment isolate, isolate the surface itself. So you can see that parting surface. Now, as you can imagine, it's quite easy to select all the inner edges of the surface. So I'm going to open up my sketch on plane 6, right click on one of the inner edges and use the select open loop option. Use convert entities. And as you can see, all the inner edges of that parting surface have been included in the convert entities command. I'm just going to select Exit Isolate so you can see the body. And you know what? Let's hide the surface. 
Let's exit the sketch and let's see the, if the result is correct. So I'm going to go normal to this plane. And let's color this sketch to... I'm going to use the sketch color and let's make it red so you can see the difference. Seems to work quite, quite nicely in this case. Thank you.